This Saturday, do you know where you'll be? Well, if you use GPS, <laughs> you may not know. You could, it could go a little... Go a little haywire. Julia Goodrich explains fasten your seatbelts and definitely have a plan B. Take a sharp right turn onto Embarcadero. What would I do without GPS? Well, I guess on April 6th, we'll all find out. In Golden Gate Park, that big map looks a little forlorn. That's because these days, who needs it? I use the GPS map on my phone. I never use physical maps, no. But on or around April 6th, have a map or two handy. Some GPS devices may go a little haywire. Is that here in the, the city? No, everywhere. If you're not prepared or have an older GPS device, expect a major headache. It's the GPS version of Y2K. It is legitimate to be concerned. Yes, Professor Brad Parkinson of Stanford is a retired U.S. Air Force colonel. He's best known as the lead architect and developer of GPS. GPS affects everything we do. GPS is a U.S. network of 31 satellites that provides location and syncs up critical systems. It affects banking, cell towers, airplanes, ships, passengers in cars. It, it is affecting everything that we can imagine. Including the power grid, financial markets, delivery trucks, and emergency services. In California, GPS monitors seismic activity. City to a copy. And syncs up radio communications used by the CHP as well as CAL FIRE. We are completely reliant upon GPS. Dana Goward is an expert. He says GPS works by sending out timing signals. Essentially all of the GPS satellites are just very, very, very precise clocks. In that signal, a timestamp. They start counting at one. Because the code is 10 digits. Your device can only store so much before the counter rolls over and resets to zero. It turns out it happens roughly every 20 years. This rollover happened once before in 1999 with few problems. But this time, it's different. So many more people and businesses use GPS. 20 years ago, you did not have a GPS in your cell phone. Knowing how much it affects, like, every part of my life, I would say, yeah, I'm pretty dependent on it. A rollover could throw off time, disrupt critical systems, not to mention your GPS could act bizarre. If you're driving your car and it were to suddenly say that you're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, be suspicious. The Department of Homeland Security has published a bulletin warning about the upcoming event and recommending if you use GPS to make sure the system is updated. Most modern devices should do just fine. The best advice, don't panic and learn how to read one of these, a map. Driving in San Francisco, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5. Well, a U.S. GS expert told KPIX 5 that some of its older GPS devices already rolled back to an incorrect date, but they are now fixed. As for the CHP and CAL FIRE, the California Office of Emergency Services told us the manufacturer of their devices assured the state that their GPS systems will not be impacted. All right, don't panic. <laughs>